is flying, uh, isn't it, really? Um, we've been, this is our sixth week of not being at school and, and the world being a bit crazy. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you're all staying well and that you've been enjoying the days as best as you can. I know the weather's gone a little bit bad out there. Uh, I don't know about what it's doing where you are, but it's raining at the moment where I am. Uh, it's gone a bit cold as well. Last week I was in my shorts, whizzing around on my scooter, uh, doing my little safe exercise trip to the uh, to the skate uh, park with my, my, my two children. Um, and now I was in my shorts and it was, I was living the dream. And now I've got the coat on, the scarf on. It's all just going crazy, isn't it? Anyway, welcome to the Mark Makes Comics YouTube show. Uh, as always, supported by the amazing people at the Lakes International Comic Art Festival. My great friends there, they are supporters of the wonders of comics, comic books, comic art, cartoon drawing. Um, thank you to any of you who uh, were watching on Friday. Uh, we did all the, uh, the the usual Freestyle Friday, the live request, the all requests, and we'll be doing another one of those uh, this coming Friday, which is Friday, May the 1st, May the 1st, and that's the day before May the 2nd, obviously. But May the 2nd is quite important because the first May, uh, uh, the first Saturday in, every, in May every year is a thing called Free Comic Book Day. And that's where comic book stores the world over uh, welcome you in and you can go into their stores and pick up a selection of free comics that the different publishers uh, from all um, of, of the comic publishers out there, uh, they have a selection of comics that are free. The shops have to buy them, but you can take them for free. And all they want you to do basically is to come in for a free comic and also buy something as well, you know? And, and, and that's how things keep moving. You get something free, you then do a little gesture of, oh, well, I'll buy a comic as well. And it introduces people to comics. It introduces people to new characters that they've never seen before. Uh, and also just keeps the whole comic thing going. However, this year, they can't do it because all the comic shops are closed. It's so sad. They're all closed. But this Saturday, I'll be doing a special thing where um, if you order a comic from me on free comic book, you're going to get a free comic with that comic. Oh, my word. Can you believe it? Yes, I'm that generous. So if you order a comic, you get a free comic, and that's on Saturday. But I'll remind you of that on Friday, on Freestyle Friday, where we'll be doing the whole usual uh, thing where you guys request things in the comment section. I'm going to look at the comment section in a minute. I'm going to give you a few little shout outs. You request in the comment section, and then I throw you requests right back. Okay, let's quickly have a quick look. I'm just going to go over here to the comment section. Okay, hi, Mark. Ben and Alex here from Sandbatch. Sunny Sandbatch. Could we have a shout out? Yes, you can. Very polite. Yes, you can indeed. Um, uh, hi, Mark. Oliver and Megan, who would really like a shout out. Well, they've really got one. There you go. Uh, hi, Mark. Joseph here again from Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes, big up yourselves. All right, okay. Hello, Harry and James and Benis the Menace. Benis the Menace here from Coventry. Coventry, oh my word. And hello, Mark. Dominic in Bristol. Bristol, hello there. Dominic, how are you doing? Is that, we're getting people from far and wide. Oh, the Hasler. The Hasler. The Hasler's arrived. Is that a little bit like David Hasselhoff? The Hoff. The Hasler has arrived. I think maybe it's the Hasler family. Oh, Niv from Edinburgh. Niv! And Brick Simon, he's back. He's back. Yes, it is. The Haslers are here. There's a multiple Haslers. I don't know what you call a gaggle of Haslers, um, but um, a Hazel? I'm not sure. A Hazel of Haslers. We've got a Hazel of Hazmers. A Bo Hors Horsham. Bo Horsham. Oh, my word. Tina, hello. There's a lady called Tina. I just saw a lady called Tina. She was heading for a, to the park with her children in the rain. It was raining, but they were still going because it's just water, isn't it? It's just water. Um, and the Crowthers, thank you, thank you. Uh, hi, Mark. Elizabeth and James are here and ready to roll, ready to roll. This week, I'm going to do some of the, the little. I'm going to give you my social media and all that, uh, all that malarkey at the end of the show. So you've got to tune in, stay, stay with me right to the end. We're going to be here. Well, where are we on now? We're going to be here for about 40 minutes. We're going to have some wild times, okay? Uh, good on you, Tina. Are they having a conversation now? That's all right. Uh, Charlie's here from Edinburgh saying hi to Nima. Uh, okay, right. I don't know. So, am I going to say hi to them or are you just having a cross conversation? Dylan and Zach in Bristol. Dylan and Zach, it's so good to have you. Join for the first time. I've done it, Kate Flanagan. I've done it. Um, hi, Alex and Sophie are ready for their first time. I'm so pleased to have you guys. Uh, I've been um, 
noticed it now. I've been picking up a few new subscribers. My work, my wife is working tirelessly behind the scenes and she has been uploading this page uh, and promoting it on uh, places like Plan C and all these cool places that are basically giving you information on things that are going on uh, online that you guys can enjoy uh, during the, uh, the, the lockdown. Uh, and so maybe some of you guys have seen it on there. Maybe some of you guys have come from other places. My aim is to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of this show. <laughs> Might be a big ask, but you never know. You never know. So please share this channel. If you like uh, uh, like and subscribe, make sure you subscribe because then you get a little, a little ping, a little ping on your telephone. If you do it on the app on your phone, you know what a phone looks like. My phone looks like this as well. Okay, I don't get many. I can't get many apps on that phone, but I do get calls on a Friday. So for those of you tuning in for the first time, come back Friday because we get uh, we get we can do phone ins as well. And we, we've had all manner of uh, people tune in, uh, ring in. Uh, Cliff Richard, Joan Collins rang on Friday. We had both Lorraine Kelly and Mike Tyson, who we discovered were self isolating together. Who knew? Okay, right. We're going to quickly do more more comment, a little shout outs, and then we're going to get into it. Right, okay. Uh, Chris, uh, Kirsty, and Charlie ready to draw. Uh, Charlie eight, Charlie eight. Is he? Uh, have you got like Charlie seven, six, five, four, and three, and two, and one in there as well? I'm not sure. Just Charlie eight. You know, if the rest of the Charlies could arrive too, that'll be good. Uh, we have your Goons of the Galaxy book. Fantastic. Yes, and my Goons of the Galaxy comic is sold out now. And I might get some new copies actually, but at the moment it's sold out. But we'll talk about the store at the end of the show. Thank you, Mark. The boys were thrilled. And Charlie from Chelmsford, Chelmsford is very excited for his first lesson. Well, it's so great to have lots of new people. So those of you who don't know, this is, I'm Mark Jackson. I also go by the name of Mark Makes Comics. And I'm a cartoonist. I have uh, created um, lots of comics. Uh, you can see some of my comics here to the side. Uh, and I'll show you one of these here. That is kind of, and my comics are crazy, kind of funny comics like this. Lots of fun stuff, you know, bright colors, lively stuff. You know, it's, it's all good fun. Um, superheroes, and robots, talking animals, um, mystery stuff, sci-fi, you know, but funny, funny and weird. I think it's the best way. Uh, and I've also created um, a couple of characters. I was very, very privileged. Uh, create a couple of characters. Easy for me to say. Easy for me to say. A couple of characters for the Beano. The Beano, if you don't know what the Beano is, it's the longest running comic uh, in, in the UK. In fact, in the world. And it's home to Dennis the Menace and Minnie the Minx and Nasha and the Bash Street Kids and all these great things. So yes, I created two characters, um, one of which was called Lenny the Lettuce. And if you stay on this channel, uh, you can see some demos I upload, as well as doing the live shows on Wednesday and Friday at 2, 2 p.m. I also upload demos, a little let's draw, and show you how to draw. We've drawn um, ridiculous superheroes, robots, dogs going to work. Um, we've done, um, uh, again, uh, Lenny the Lettuce. We did that on Easter Sunday because, as many people know, lettuces are actually the food of Easter. Uh, and we've, uh, what else have we done? We've done, we did um, uh, an alien or a, a weird monster kind of thing. It was Monster Week. So we did all kinds of things like that. And got a couple of other new ones to upload soon as well. Oh, cool. There's a cool cow in there. So you can watch those at any time. This show will save as well. You can watch that again. So, uh, yeah, we love Spook Kids. Thank you very much, Tina. I love you too. I love you too. Don't tell your husband. Um, uh, yes, Spook Kids is a good one. That's up there. Yes, but we'll talk about the show, the sales afterwards, the, the, the shop afterwards. If you want to buy some comics, I'll give you a, I'll give you a little nudge towards that. You know, as always, you need a few things, okay? You've got to have... Shout out to Laurie in Stratford. First lesson, Laurie, Thomas in Fleetwood, loves the Beano. We have lots of your comics, somebody says. There you go. Hello there. Welcome along. So you need a few things. You need some paper. A4 size. And you can have it that way. You can have it that way. That is portrait. That is landscape. And that's kind of cockeyed, you know. And you need a table. You might have a big table. You might have a small table. If you've got a big table, well, you're just showing off, aren't you? Um, but that's okay. It doesn't matter what size the table is. It's something to lean on. You also need some pens. And I like to put my pens in here. And fans of the show will know that what we do, we shake our pens. All right. We shake the pens. I want to hear your pens. Come on, shake them, shake them. Yep, okay. I have these fantastic markers here that have these points kind of like this, like that. There you go. Can you see it? So, and, the, and you can do a thin line. You can do a fat line. But I'll show you when we're up here. We're all up here. Hi, Mark. Leo would love a shout out. There you go. I love doing this, says Joseph. I love it too, Joseph. Right. 
So you need your pens, you need your paper. You also need a receptacle. A receptacle, what is that? A receptacle is one of these. It's something to put liquid in. And I like, today I've got a cup of tea because um, it's a little bit chilly, so I need to warm up. I also have my usual decanter of water. A decanter, yes, I'm very fancy, I have a decanter, okay? And I suggest if you get yourself a decanter as well, and a glass, we like to keep hydrated, and we always have one for me, one for my homies, okay? Let's do this. Right, so this week, this week, this week, this week, the last Wednesday in May, the last Wednesday in May this year, okay? This week is, as on the board, it's let's make a scene. Let's make a scene. What on earth does that mean, Mark? Well, it's a good question, and I've got a good answer. Let's make a scene. I'm going to show you guys, you can follow along, how to make a scene uh, with a character. So uh, in the past, we've done, um, we did last week, we did uh, how to create a comic book cover. The week before that, I show you how to do a comic strip. Well, we, I started you off, and then you guys finished it. Um, there was a, where I talked to you about speech bubbles and speech balloons. So, so for those of you who are new to the show, you can still watch these. So go back uh, and the, the titles are all kind of listed with the different things, bubbles and balloons, let's make a cover, things like that. So you can go back and, and check those things out. So you've not missed out. You've not missed out. You never, you can't miss anything these days. Everything just saves on the internet all the time. So this week is let's make a scene. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, we're going to do a, draw a character. You can draw the same characters I, I, I'm drawing if you wish. Or you can do your own character. You might have a character just bursting to get out of your head, right? And then I'm going to show you how to draw that character. And then I'm going to show you how to take that character and put him in a scene or her in a scene. Okay, got it? Good. Okay, so a bit of a quick stretch. Oh, not too much though when it's not Joe Wicks, you know. Just a bit of that and I'll do it. Okay, so I've got this big flip chart here. I'm gonna flip it over, flip it over. Right, I'm gonna show you how to draw a gentleman that's called Goof. Uh, Goof is a character that I created for a comic, also called Goof. It, was, it came out two years ago. Um, and if you go to www.goof.co.uk, it's an online comics uh, collection, kind of like an online version of the Beano, with me and a feast, a feast, Feast, say it with me, a feast, a feast of other cartoonists, all doing totally different comics and comic strips. Uh, and and, and it's, you, you can subscribe to it. You have to pay just a little bit of money. And you subscribe to it. And it was monthly, but it's finished now. We just did it for, for a certain amount of issues. Uh, but they're all there. So now you've got the beautiful um, uh, uh, thing of being able to just read them all. Okay? So I think it's like two pounds for a subscription or something like that. I don't know. It, it's something like that. So, and I created the main character because um, I, I was the editor of it as well. Uh, and he's called Goof. So I'm going to show you how to draw Goof. As we know, I always start with the eyes, okay? And what do we always do as well for new, new viewers? I put a line here, okay? A line, okay? But a line can be a little bit boring. So just above that line or below that line, but you're not be able to see this because I've done the line a little bit high. But let's, I'll tell you what, let's do it like that. You can't see it now. There you go. I do a line, but then under the line, we do this. We always draw a fish, okay? I always draw a fish, and what do we say? You know what we say. If you, if you know what we say, shout it out. Yes, nothing below the fish. If I draw something below the fish, you can't see it, okay? I could be doing all sorts of stuff down here. I could be drawing anything, craziness, but you wouldn't be able to see it. So I have to, that's my little thing, nothing below the fish. And I'm going to be doing nothing below the fish t-shirts. This is actually true. It was kind of true when I first said it a few weeks ago, but now it's even truer than true. It's totally true. Uh, and there's going to be a website. I'll, I'll put a link on my Facebook and I'll talk about the, that, all that um, uh, malarkey at the end. But uh, malarkey, that's a good word. I think I said that twice this show. No more malarkeys for the rest of the show, okay? No more. Um, and um, so basically, I'm going to be putting them online to this website. And what you have to do, uh, it only will go into production if I get 10 orders, right? And once I get 10 orders, then they literally fly out, okay? But it won't happen unless I get 10 orders. So I'll be putting a design on there. Maybe later today, tomorrow, you can check that out. And if you want to order one, you can do. And we can all be walking around with our nothing below the fish t-shirts. I have this one here. But, it, you know, but it had nothing below the fish. Kitchen scissors and clippers, you know, go for it, okay? Now, Goof has a nose. It's kind of like a nose like that. It's kind of like a flat nose, okay? And then I, this is for the detail fans out there. I know there's a lot of you. 
I always just ding ding. Couple, that's just kind of my style. Just a couple of little ding dings like that. Okay. Then Goof has these kind of lips like that. Okay. These kind of lips. You got it. You got it. All right. And then I don't know if it's hair because his his face is. I'm drawing him in orange. I'm not coloring it in, but I'm drawing it in orange. He actually is orange. His character is orange. And um, so his whole face is. His skin is orange. Um, so I don't think this is really his hair. I think it's just kind of his, his, his head shape, really. And it's like this. And you just kind of keep going until you get to kind of there. Okay? Got it? All right. So kind of keep going until you get to there. Yep, I'm just checking the old drinks here. One for me. And one for my homies. Ooh. It's gone cold now. I've been chatting so much. Right. So you got this bit here. Then I do an eyebrow at the top there, and maybe if I want a couple of little swirly things around the eyes, just makes them look a little bit more like they're jiggling, a little bit more crazy. Okay. Now this is the bit, right? Goof has got quite a different body shape. If you know my stuff, quite a different body shape um, than a lot of my characters. I wanted just to draw somebody a little bit different. So he's kind of he's got a neck. Most of my characters you never see the necks, all right? But he's, Goof has got a neck. And it kind of starts under his lip, and it kind of goes down like that, and then it goes around like that, okay? So his neck comes down, and then goes straight into his body like that, okay? You got it? And then we do the same thing again, like that, okay? You got it? Look at this. We're not planning this out. When you don't plan things out, crazy things can happen, and you can end up with funny-looking characters, which is what it's all about. Right, now we're going to do a line. It's kind of a curved shape. Yes, a curved shape. Okay, straight across like that. And then I'm now going to do the bottom of his body, which goes like this. Yes, it's a curved shape. Say it with me, a curved shape. Okay, and sometimes I'll just do the basics first, or then I'll just do a little bit of detail as I'm doing it. So this time I'm going to do the details, a little pocket. He has a pocket there. Okay, a little pocket. Keeps his things in there, his car keys, his mirrors. Um, Emma Allen, thank you so much. It's my pleasure, Emma. I don't know what for, but it's my pleasure. Okay, now we're gonna do, we're gonna take the detail, we're gonna do that. We're gonna round that off there. That is where his neck goes into his clothes. So this is the top of his t-shirt. And we're gonna do, before I move on to anything else, I'm gonna do his legs, okay? So we do one, two, okay? And then a one, two, like that, okay? One, two, one, two. Okay, that's what they say in France. One, two, one, two. Well, they don't actually, they say un deux, un deux. Okay, like that. And then we're gonna do a line across, line across. Okay, let's go fast. Little shoe, Lily has all these little boots. Okay, little boots like that. And then ding, 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 ding. You don't have to do the ding, dings, that's just my style. Okay, get your own style. If you've got your own style, go for it. You might do dong, 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 you know? Something like that. Okay, right. Now, when you don't plan things out and you don't use pencils and rubbers, um, it, it keeps things freer, okay? But it also throws, especially when you're doing a live, live show, throws some, oh, hang on a sec, where am I going to put that bit? So I want to do a hand, okay? Now, I can't have it popping out here at the side or here, but I want to do a hand to give a bit of a, for the angle fans out there, a little bit of an angle as well, okay? So I'm going to do like that, around, okay? So it's kind of like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a hand, one, two, three, four. We just do four fingers or three fingers and a thumb. We don't do the fifth finger, there's no time for that, okay? There's no time for that. Look at the time already. There's no time, it's 20 past two. We've got no time for that. All right, then, and then, so I've done the line round and down, and then I'm gonna go, and then the fingers, and then I'm gonna go from there, back round, okay? Around like that, okay? All right, and the easiest way, he's got a t-shirt on, the easiest way now for me to show his t-shirt is just to go like that. All you need is that. It's just the line. You can do that as well, a little crease, a little detail to get the crease. So this is his t-shirt, that is his arm. We're not coloring it in, but we can still see the difference, okay? Now Goof has a stripy t-shirt, okay? So we're gonna do the lines. Line, 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 so like stripes. Tuck them behind, so make sure the lines go behind. So if it gets to this bit, don't go over the top of it. If you do, it doesn't matter. But that's how you can see the the, dis the the differences. And then one more, like that, like that. Okay, look at that. Look at him. What a fine gentleman. And he's standing with a fish below him. Nothing below the fish. Remember that. Okay. Now we're going to do his other arm. So let's have it outstretched up here like that. And these pens are great. You get these thin lines, these fat lines. If you turn to the side, you can get thick lines. And if you don't press on as well, you get these fantastic kind of brush kind of lines. 
And then we're going to do finger one, two, three, four. There you go. And what do we do now? Yes, of course, we do the t shirt, and there he is. Now, look at him. What a fine specimen. He's a, he, he's, he's a strange character. I don't know if he's an alien. I'll show you him in the comic because I actually put him in this comic as well. So I collected them all in print. Online comics are great. I do a number of them myself. Uh, however, uh, print comics are just as great. And look, here he is. You can see him here. Goof is in here. Yeah, so he's quite a strange guy. He, he's just, I just wanted to create this goofy kind of, kind of, kind of character, goofy comic. All right, he's just goofy things. Uh, lots of craziness. Um, he's just, yeah. This particular one here, I'm, I was very proud of this comic. This is when he goes bowling. And um, yes, if you read it and if you know kind of comics, you'll kind of, you, you, you get a sense of why I was very proud of this one. Um, uh, yeah, I, basically the ball was basically bouncing around inside the panels, using the panels as actually part of the joke. So the ball would, when he threw the bowling ball, the ball would actually hit the top of the panel and bounce back down. It wouldn't go out of the panel. So his world was just the panel and it bounced around inside the panel. And then the final thing as it came clobbering in and clobbered him right in the face, pow, he said, never go bowling in a comic strip. And that's kind of like breaking the fourth wall it's known as, where suddenly the characters are either talking directly to you or, they are aware that they're actually in a comic strip themselves, and that can make things funny, okay? Uh, that awareness uh, when the characters are talking about being in a comic strip. Um, so, yeah, so that's Goof in there, and that is in this comic here. And I'll tell you where you can buy that if you're interested. Yeah, maybe show them. Okay, right, let's move on. Right, so we've got Goof here, and we can do these little swirly things and the little things like that, because they make it like he's waving. Everybody wave, everybody wave at me, everybody wave at your parents if they're nearby, okay? And that's him waving there. And this is Goof. What do we do? We always sign it, and I perfected this. I perfected the art of signing it this way. Um, look at that, that's my signature, MJ. You can put MJ if you want, but only if that's your name. Okay, don't steal my name, get your own name. You've got your own names, do your own initials. You can put your full name on there if you want, whatever you want. So I'm gonna put here, it's Goof, all right? It's Goof, okay? And Goof, possibly, possibly, Goof, the comic, with this character and other characters might be coming back. It might be coming back. Uh, watch this space, I'm in talks, I'm in talks with people. My people are talking to other people and those people are talking to other people and my people, and we're all just talking, and it could come back, okay? So watch this space. So that is Goof. A round of applause if you've done your Goofs, and we'll do this bit now if you wish. You can share your drawings with me at any time. You can find me on social media as Mark Makes Comics, Mark with a C, M-A-R-C, Mark Makes Comics. I'm on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and um, YouTube, obviously, obs, as they say, obs, obs or obs, I don't know what they say, because um, you don't pronounce the B. Um, and yeah, you can share any of the drawings that you've done uh, from the demonstrations. Uh, this one we've done now, I'd love to see your goofs. Show me your goofs, show them to me, right? You can do that after the show, you can do that later, you can do it first thing in the morning, there's no time frame, just do it when you want, okay? And uh, yeah, and you can also find me as Mommy's Comics, on my store, uh, you can go to www.markmakescomics.co.uk and that's where my store is and you can you can buy comics and fill up your baskets. Just go to town on there, you know, don't hold back. Um, I, I send out my comics on a Sunday. I go to one safe trip a week to the post office. And uh, so if you order anything this week, it will go out on Sunday. Okay, All right, cool. And don't forget the special free comic deal on Saturday. If you order a comic on Saturday, on Saturday, it's gonna be on Saturday and you get a free comic with your order. Okay, right. Why is this called Make a Scene, you ask? Well, because we're gonna take Goof, and we're now gonna put him in a scene, okay? And scene, okay? Right, so, so, let's roll it over, and let's get the old line in here. The old line's gonna go straight across there, okay? Right across there, slightly higher. It's gonna give me a little less space, but I'm okay, I can handle it. Right, let's do another fish. Remember, nothing below the fish. Yes, I heard you shout it. Nothing below the fish. And yeah, the the I'll be sharing the, the design for that t-shirt on my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So you'll be able to see that with a link. And if you like it and you want to order one, order it. And I need 10 orders. Uh, it's not happened yet, so it'll be, just keep your eyes peeled. 10 orders, it goes into production. It's very exciting. Then they'll literally make it like a million of them. And the whole world will be wearing them. One for me. 
one for my homies. That is you guys, okay? Make sure you stay hydrated. Right, so, goof. We're going to need to go a little bit smaller, but the first thing I'm going to draw, we're going to draw goof, okay? And goof is going to be sat here in the middle, right? I'm going to have him sat. So, don't worry, I'm going to go a little bit faster now because I'm going to, I'm going to draw him. So if, you, if you've got your little piece of paper, put it to one side and you can copy that, okay? You don't need to worry about copying what I'm doing now. You can copy the drawing you've done. So we're drawing that character again, okay? We are ordering your comic as soon as possible. Woohoo! I like the sound of that, Robo. Right, okay. Right. Goof is here, okay? But keep an eye on what I'm doing because we're not drawing the whole thing just yet. So we're definitely drawing the head, okay? And we're definitely drawing the neck. Okay, we're definitely now we're going to draw this curve coming down like that. Okay, but don't do the back bit. Okay, just draw a line to about there. Okay, got it. And then I'm going to do two legs one, two, one, <laughs> no, one, one, two lines, and one, two, another lines. I'm going to join that up, but again, I'm just going to kind of stop there. Okay, and then I'm going to do ding ding, and then his little shoes, little shoes. Okay. And his little dings, okay, ding, ding, okay, right. So he's kind of, look. he's not standing up now. You can kind of see he's not standing up. He's kind of slouching a little bit, you know, you've got to keep your posture, but, you know, feel free to slouch around as well. You know, just relax, in my opinion, just do what you want, okay? Now we're gonna draw an arm. No, not that kind of arm. The arm of a chair, like that. And an arm of a chair can look like this. It's a comfy lounging kind of chair. We're gonna do that same shape over here now, okay? Got it? Got it? Good. Okay. Now we're going to do this bit, which is kind of like part of the chair. And then we're going to join that up together. Again, don't worry about if the lines don't meet each other. They don't have to. We're just getting a hint. A hint. Okay. A hint of what's going on. Right. Now we're going to go back to Goof. And we're going to do one arm of his t-shirt like that. Okay. With a little line. And then the other line popping out there. Okay. So we've got this different depth. So this is the front and this is behind him. And then we're going to do an arm curving. We're going to curve it behind his head like that. Okay. Round. And then round. Now you don't see his hands. They're behind his head. He's leaning back like that. Okay. And then we're going to do that one around like that. And around like that. Okay. All right. Look at that. Look at it. Don't worry if it gets a bit smudgy like this, smushed like that, squashed it in. It's okay. It's okay. And now we can finish this bit here. Okay, because now we know all the bits that we need at the front, so we can do the background bits. Let's do his neck and his t-shirt, and we can do his stripes. Okay, look at that. There he is. He sat down. Let's finish off the chair. So let's do the back of the chair here, and I think it's a tall chair, so let's have the tall chair here. Okay, and let's do, uh, all right, let's bring it right around like that. Wow, look at this chair. Fantastic. And then we're going to do a little line here. And then these tassels. Any, if anybody out there a fan of tassels? Me too. Tassels. Okay, these are the little tassels. Okay, the little chair tassels. When you go to a shop to buy a chair, you know, in the future when we're allowed out, say, sir, I want a chair with tassels. Hi, Douglas. I bet Douglas likes tassels. Douglas, do you like tassels? He does. Right, and then a little detail there. That is the chair, okay? Check it out. That is Goof signing a chair, okay? But that's not a scene, is it? That's just Goof signing a chair. Let's go to town here. Right, so if you're sitting at home, you're relaxing in your chair, right? You've probably got a little side table, okay? A little side table can look like this, okay? Let's draw a little side table. I'm going to do a curve shape like that, okay? Say it with me, curve shape. And then I'm going to draw, I'm going to do the uh, little bit of detail there for the detail fans. And we're going to do a draw. So a draw like this. So basically you're drawing a small little shape inside this shape like that. Okay. With a little handle. And that's all you need. Right. That indicates draw, table. Okay. You can make it a bit 3D if you want. Sometimes I like to do things a bit 3D. Sometimes I like to just do them flat, flat. Bang, right? It all looks like it ho is hovering, but we're going to fix that right at the end, okay? It's going to be no hovering by the end, okay? Don't worry. Right. On his table, his little side table, I don't know about you, but I like to have a drink, a drink of something, you know, maybe a nice coffee or a glass of wine, but you won't have a glass of wine. Maybe you'll have something, a little glass of water and maybe a treat, a little bit of juice. Don't have too much juice there. Think about your teeth, okay? All right. Or maybe a nice, cool, a cool glass of milk or a milkshake. 
Nobody likes a milkshake. In fact, I drank a milkshake live on the air last week. It wasn't the whole show, don't worry, but it was part of it. Right, so Goof has got a similar receptacle, okay? So we're doing like a little glass with a curve like that. That's the front of the glass. Then, before we do the back of it, we're gonna do, he's got a straw, okay? He's got a straw like that. It's a stripy straw, everyone likes a stripy straw. Make sure it's a paper straw, not a plastic one. We've got to think about the ocean, got to think about the fish, got to think about the planet, okay? Um, you can have some little bubbles. It's something bubbly, something bubbly, okay? And do a little thing in there like that. And that is his cup on his little... So we've now done goof on a chair, all right? Relaxing with his tassels, with his little side table and his glass and a straw. We've got all these different elements coming to play, okay? Right, now... We're going to come back to this bit. I'm going to draw something up here. I'm kind of a bit squashed, but it's okay. I'm going to do a little circle like this. I'm going to do a lamp. And a lamp is easy because you do a kind of like a, a baguette, a baguette shape, yeah? Un baguette, s'il vous plaît. Okay, with this kind of shape here. So it's basically, this is basically just a wider version of that, the bottom half of that, okay? And then you can decorate this however you want. I'm going to go stripes because Goof is matching his T-shirt. You could do flowers, spots. Um, zigzags, so put your own um, design inside your lamp, all right? And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the pen to its side so it's nice and thick. I'm going to go straight down like that so it's a thick line. Press on nice and hard, they get a thick line, okay? And then I'm going to do a little line like that and another line. It's kind of two baguettes. It's like a big baguette and a small baguette. My friend Russell, he made baguettes for the first time. He had a small baguette and he had a big baguette. They were very shiny baguettes, but they were baguettes nonetheless. Um, so yeah, shout out to Russell and his baguettes, all right? Big up yourself with your baguettes, Russell, right? And then this light um, has a little little line coming out of it like that with a little dangly bit there, with another little dangly bit in there. That's like the little, yeah, okay, all right, got it? Now, we're really making the scene, we're setting the scene, okay? Quick drink, all right? One for me, you can talk when you're drinking, and one for my homies. Right, okay, I went quiet there for a second. Right, so we've got our table, our drink, our goof, our chair, our lamp, right? Now, what you can do now is we can do this, okay? We're gonna do a rectangle or a square kind of shape like that, okay? What could this be? It could be in multiple things, all right? I'm gonna go for window. You could go for picture, right? Goof could have a picture of himself on the wall, but I'm gonna go for a window. And the way to do the window is easy. Down like that, so we've done the line like that, and then another one straight across, okay? Right, and that is basically the frame of the window, okay? Now, what I want you to do is we're gonna take, I'm gonna do this square, right? And I want you to draw either, so is it evening or is it daytime? If it's the evening, you need to draw the moon. If it's the daytime, you wanna draw the sun, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go moon, okay? And the moon, obviously, is asleep like that. It's happy. Everything's kind of alive in comics. So draw faces and everything. Cars, the moon, the sunshine. Uh, even a cabbage can have can have a face. Or in case, in my point, my, my case, uh, the lettuce, Lenny the lettuce. He was a talking lettuce. Okay. A wonderful character. And then, so we've done the moon or the sun, right? And then, now, if you've done the sun, you can have some little clouds. I'm going to do them anyway. Okay, because this is a goof anyway, but so you wouldn't really necessarily have the clouds now because it's the evening, you wouldn't have to see anything. But that's what you would do, a couple of clouds in there. You know, you might even do a little birds, just a little, a little birds are just little, like a little V-shape, ding, ding, like that, okay? And then down here, you know, you could, if it was the daytime, you could show like a, the top of a tree like that, okay? A little tree like that, or the leaves like that. So you could show a little tree and um, and you could even have somebody peering in right let's have somebody peering in okay uh, i'm gonna have a robot looking in through goof's window he's having an energy through he's wondering what he's watching is he watching anything on television he's not sure or maybe he's just like a little alien robot that's come down from space to meet goof okay or maybe even to take him back home so you've got four so you've almost got inside the window sorry i'll come over here so you can see me inside the window a window and you've got one two three careful 
Four. It's not because my hand's heavy. I just have to remember to go the opposite way than you need to go. Uh, four panels. It's almost like a comic strip. So you can do, in just in one window, you can do a whole comic strip going on, all kinds of, uh, like a scene happening inside there. Um, so if this was the first page of a comic, you could you would start it off. So the first page of a comic, you've got the moon, so you know it's nighttime, okay? Or you've got the sun, or you've got something peeping in through the window, you know something's going to happen. So the next page, this guy maybe knocks on the door, or comes through the chimney, or breaks through the glass, or something like that. Oh my word, stand back. And that's the kind of thing you can do. So put lots of interesting things into your panels as well. So this isn't now. This is taking it now from just drawing a character and picture to setting the scene, making a scene. We're making a scene and scene. OK, right. Now, this is the last little bit of detail. We're going to do little lines like this. One, two. Right. And then over here. One, two. OK, this is the for the fans out there, the skirting board. Yes. And it's popping. Up. It's the skirting board. And you can even do, I used to love this in the old cartoon shows, right? A little hunt like that. And if anybody can tell me in the comment section, in, in five, four, three, two, one, what was this little shape for in, in there? In a, car, in a cartoon like Tom and Jerry, what, what, what were these for, okay? All right, come on, come on, anybody, anybody? Come on, somebody must know. Oh, somebody's coming. Somebody's coming in with one. I think they are. Are they? Oh, not yet, not yet. Okay, well, I'll check back in there in a second. Right, so we've got that. So that shows the room, and then we can have another line up here. So that shows you've got some angles for the angle fans out there. I know you've got a lot. Of, for a Miss Mouse, so uh, Vicky, oh, hang on, oh, hang on a sec. Oh, flow, oh my word, it's blowing up, it's blowing up. Uh, mouse hole, mouse hole, so we spell, oh, all right, all right, questionable spelling there. I know where you're coming from. Mouse holes, mouse holes, that's what, no, mouse, when my, <laughs> my, no, you've corrected it there. Uh, yeah, when mice go on uh, away for the weekend, they go on mice holes. Um, uh, but no, this is a mouse hole. Mouse, mouse, mouse hole, mouse hole, mouse hole. Not holes, hole, mouse hole. Okay, everybody say mouse hole. Oh, okay, right. Yes, it's for a mouse hole. A little mouse might, might be sneaking out there. So if you want, if you want, you can draw a mouse. You can draw something coming out of there. I'm going to draw uh, something stranger, okay? I'm going to draw this. It's kind of like a slug kind of thing uh because you know maybe goof lives he's goofy enough as it is he probably lives with kind of you know sluggy kind of uh, some kind of slug kind of creatures and then i do all these little lines around there so if you do these little lines these little lines help to make it look like it's flat on something it's not floating anymore it's not floating not whole hole <laughs> not whole hole yeah it's not floating anymore it's it's fixed to the ground it, it, it's showing a little bit of a shadow and that's how i do that and then you can do the carpet i always like these little tufty kind of things like that it shows a little bit of a carpet kind of situation okay all right like that and that ladies and gentlemen it's how you make a scene and scene, okay? Right, and don't forget to put your initials. I'm gonna go with MJ again, because you know, why not? It is my name, MJ up there, tucking it in there, okay? Feel free to take a picture of that if you want. It's a glorious piece of work. I'm loving it, and I'm sure yours are too. So, we're gonna start, well, this is, we're gonna wind up in a minute, but please show me your goof drawings you might have even done something totally different you might have uh, had your own character that came out of nowhere and you have decided to start off by putting that character into the chair so you, we, we put goof in a chair we have the table a drink you can add other things you could put a picture over here if you wanted you could do that you could have a picture frame popping out here as well with a little picture on it some, some kind of thing you could have a picture uh, or you can have a mirror. If you do a mirror, you just do one, two, three. That just shows like a little reflection. That shows glass. That's that's the simple way to show glass um, in, um, in in comics and cartoons, right? And so yes, please share your drawings with me. You can find me, as I said earlier, on all social media. It's Mark makes comics. Mark with a C. Uh, Mark makes comics. So that's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, MySpace, uh, your place, anybody's place. You know, I'll go anywhere uh, virtually. Um, that's virtually, as in, I, you know, I'm, I'm coming into your house this way, okay? Can't come in at the moment. No, can't come in at the moment. And you can go to my Etsy shop, 
uh, which is uh, Marmates Comics. Uh, you can just go to my website, marmatescomics.co.uk, and you can uh, pick up this comic I showed you before, which has got lots of fantastic stuff in, or Spook Kids, or anything. There's lots of cool comics in there, and other things. If you and that, these things help uh, to keep things going for me, um, uh, and and your support is is greatly appreciated. Those of you who've ordered comics, I'm so grateful to you, and I'm so pleased that my comics are connecting with you in that way. And so please keep. Please keep reading them. Please keep, um, you know, uh, uh, enjoying them. Uh, I, I'm, I'm doing them for you guys. Again. Right. And if you were that way inclined, I also have a great thing called Kofi, which is basically uh, you you can buy me a cyber cup of coffee. What is a cyber cup of coffee? Well, basically, you go to this website, Kofi, ko fee.com forward slash Marmix Comics, mark with a C, and you can just drop me a cyber coffee. Ching! Like that. Drop it like it's hot. Um, and I'll and I'll enjoy a cyber coffee. It just keeps. It's a way of supporting me in my work, supporting this channel. And I upload free comics on there as well. This Friday, I'll be starting a brand new comic, which is for su subscribers and supporters only. But it's just the price of a coffee. It's nothing. No one's even buying coffee these days. So you've got lots of money going on, right? And this gentleman here, Magnum PI, is the fab fabulous a cop from the 1980s TV show. Um, some of you children won't know, but it's still a fun comic. And there's going to be a brand new comic series starting with Magnum P.I. this Friday on my Kofi page. It's the only place to read it, ladies and gentlemen. So, my name is Mark Jackson. This has been Mark Makes Comics Supported. As I said at the start, let's give him another shout out by my fantastic friends at the Lakes International Comic Art Festival. Please keep sharing your drawings with me. Uh, there's going to be, there's still lots of demos on there. I'm probably going to, I did another demo the other day, actually. I've not uploaded that one. So I'll upload a new demo uh, maybe tomorrow. So there'll be another little thing that you can draw in your own time. Show me your goofs. Show me your drawings. I, I love seeing them. And then we'll be back on Friday, the 1st of May. That's this May. This Friday, should I say. This Friday, live at 2 p.m. UK time for Freestyle Friday, where I'll be taking all your requests. You challenge me, I challenge you right back. Until then, my friends, stay well, stay safe, and we've got this. Take care. Bye.